California becomes the first state to offer health insurance to undocumented immigrants. Let's get right to the story. Also, starting January 1st, California will become the first state in the nation to offer health insurance to undocumented immigrants. Under the expansion, more than 700,000 people between the ages of 26 and 49 will be eligible for Medi-Cal. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe takes a look at the new law and how immigrant rights advocates are reacting. Immigrant rights advocates call the expansion of health care for undocumented immigrants a major milestone in California. This is a really major step in, in California. Advocates for immigrant rights are celebrating a monumental victory in the fight for more inclusive health care. Yeah, I'm so grateful again. I think it's really, really important to uh, think about how big of a precedent this is for the entire nation. Nettie Velasquez is the Border Policy Coordinator at Alliance San Diego. She's a DACA recipient who has been fighting and advocating for health expansion for years. A lot of undocumented people and, you know, a lot of low-income people, um, because they don't have access to these resources, they wait until the very end to, to hopefully receive some care, and by then it's too late, and we shouldn't have to have people, you know, waiting until they're feeling ill to go to the doctor. We should have preventative care, and that's why this is so important. Those who are eligible will be able to qualify for Medi-Cal, the state's health insurance program for low-income individuals. Medi-Cal offers access to primary and preventative care, specialist, prescription medicine, and more. They also deserve a right to have access to primary needs that they don't generally have access to. Undocumented people between the ages of 26 and 49 will be eligible for Medi-Cal. Velasquez says having access to health care is a necessity the immigrant community shouldn't have to put on hold. California Republicans have argued that the state's Medi-Cal system could overload the state's budget. Velasquez says she thinks the state is moving in the right direction, but believes there's still more work to be done. That's because many undocumented Californians will still remain ineligible for Medi-Cal because they make too much money to qualify, but not enough to afford private insurance.